the cops that are involved with Tyree Nichols' death are getting lined up to get knocked down. I told you before, like, whenever I get some information about any one of these cops, I'm definitely going to bring y'all these this information. I literally, like, for the last week, have given at least one video a day involving Tyree Nichols. That's just how much stuff has been coming out lately when it comes to this. So now we are about to talk about this cop named Emmett Martin III. Now, this one really didn't get talked about that much until some information came out about them and some involvement they or an encounter they had or should i say some an encounter he gave to other people in which he basically said some things that should have gotten him incriminated before this even happened so apparently two men in memphis have said that they had an encounter with officer emmett martin the third at one point and to the point where where they said he pulled a gun on them and one of the things he said to them, or at least to one of them, was, I will blow your face off. That This is right now, this is actually, like I said, alleged. But I said that they are going to start digging into the past of these cops because of what they did to try to find a reason or to try to find something to use against them to line themselves up with what happened with Tyree Nichols. If they can say that these cops had violent tendencies in the past or left the paper trail of violent tendencies, then we can say, oh, this is just who they are. Two residents of this still stunned city told NBC News that one of the former police officers charged with murdering 29-year-old Tyree Nichols pulled a gun on them three years ago and threatened to shoot them both in the face. Glenn Harris, age 24, and Demarius or Demarius Hervey, age 27, described their violent encounter with former Memphis police officer Emmett Martin III just days after the department released police body camera and surveillance videos of Nichols' arrest that sparked angry protests against police violence in Memphis and across the country. Harris and Harvey, who say they are brothers, said Sunday that they were standing outside of a downtown gas station in August 2020 when police cars suddenly surround them. Fearing arrest because they had been smoking marijuana and had a small amount of pot on them, as well as a registered handgun, the brothers admitted that they tried to flee Harris, Harris's car. I got scared, Harris said, adding that he was about to evade the police for about two miles before crashing his car. When I got out of the car and tried to run, that's when Officer Emmett grabbed me. He slammed me on the ground and pulled his gun out. Harris said Martin pinned him to the pavement with a knee on his neck and pointed a service weapon at his head. I'll blow your face off, Martin said, according to Harris. Hervey said Martin also threatened to shoot him in the face. Stacy Harris, the brother's mother, said Monday that Glenn Harris called her hours after the arrest and told her about the encounter. He told me, as an officer Martin, threw him to the ground and put the gun to him and told him he would blow his effing head off, Stacy Harris said adding that she immediately became upset and feared for her son's life. She said all three of her sons have had run-ins with, with Memphis officers. At the time, Harris told his mother about the encounter. They did not know the officer was Martin. It wasn't until Harris saw Martin on TV during coverage of the Nichols case that he identified the officer as the one who had threatened him, he said. Attorney Arthur Horn, who represented Glenn Harris in the case, said Harris walked into his office a few days after the encounter and told him police had been aggressive and arrested him. He said an officer pulled a gun out and held him to his head and called him the N-word, Horn said. I told him he could go to internal affairs, but they probably wouldn't do anything. Harris said he did not file a complaint because his main concern was getting out of jail. Horn said Monday they were undecided about how they would file one now, whether they would file one now. Martin's lawyer, William Massey, and the city's police union did not return phone calls Tuesday seeking comment. A Memphis Police Department spokesman declined to comment because Harris never filed a complaint alleging excessive use of force. It sounds to me like they wanted to do these things, but out of fear of what could probably happen to them, maybe some, some maybe, uh, retaliation could have occurred. Then I keep telling y'all, this the, a lot of these police departments operate like gangs, so you never know. An affidavit of a complaint dated August 2nd, 2020 and signed by an officer 
E. Martin that was obtained by NBC News confirms that Harris and Harvey were arrested after Harris crashed the black Nissan Maxima he was driving and after a brief foot chase. Harris is accused in the complaint of possession of a handgun while under the influence, reckless driving, driving with the suspended revoke canceled license, leaving the scene of an accident and evading arrest. No charges were filed against Harvey, but police said in the affidavit they found a baggie of what appeared to be marijuana in his right pant pocket and over $194 in different denominations. Harris had over $2,960 on his person according to the affidavit, which also mentions that police found a scale and a gun with 15 rounds in the magazine. Harris and Harvey said Martin didn't need to threaten them like he did. He was in the wrong. He wasn't supposed to pull a gun on me, Harris said of Martin. Martin, age 30, a former college football player who was hired by the Memphis Police Department in March 2018, was fired on January 20th, along with fellow officers to Darius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Desmond Mills Jr., and Justin Smith. An administrative investigation found they had violated department policy on the use of force during the Nichols arrest. They were charged Thursday with second-degree murder, two counts of official misconduct, two counts of aggravated kidnapping, one count of official oppression, and one count of aggravated assault. Like Nichols, all five former officers are black. A sixth Memphis Police Department officer Preston Hemphill, who was seen on video firing a stun gun at Nichols on January 7th, was relieved of duty. The department announced Monday. Notice how the, you know, I'm never going to give what I'm about to say because they get literally about to say it in the next sentence. Hemphill has not been charged with a crime and is cooperating with investigators in photos. He appears to be white. That part right there. They have not officially charged him of, with anything. Kind of reminds you of. Brett Favre and how we know he was still in money where he wasn't supposed to be taking it from to put it into endeavors where it wasn't supposed to go. And they have not officially charged him with anything criminally wise. Nicholas, I'm sorry, Nichols, an amateur photographer and skateboarder was hospitalized in critical condition and died three days after the traffic stop. So there's that little background information right there on Emmett Martin the third. Now this was actually, I'm going to say this is very bold of these two men to actually come out with this statement, considering that the background to it lines right up with the narrative that PC people love to talk about. Well, if you dis, if you just not resisted, if you just complied and you didn't flee, then nothing would happen to you because everything that they said right here lines up with their narrative. Luckily for them, they survived. But at the same time, he still overstepped his boundaries when he said, I'll blow your face off while having the gun on him. So he was, he's, he was making a life threatening, uh, 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 assertion in that particular situation right there. And this happens way more often than people, you know, would say. But I kept telling people, once they get enough information to dig on some of these guys past, they're going to start bringing stuff up. Now, they probably most likely won't be able to use this against them in court, but this is something that they're going to try to probably maybe bring up in court just to see what the jury is going to think. I keep telling y'all, this is going to be a very, very, very interesting trial. It's going to probably be a long trial, too, because there's so many people that's involved. So when this trial kicks off, which hopefully, you know, I mean, it's, this is in the beginning of the year. So if there is a trial, which I know there will be, we're probably talking maybe either it may start towards the end of this year or maybe sometime around this time next year. But we shall see. And. I have a feeling there's going to be some more information that may come out about some of the same cops that I've talked about already, or maybe the other two that I have not talked about already. 